Hey guys, Nick from Merc Media here. So you've shot something for your movie or for your commercial, what have you, and you realize that once you get into the editing room, there's something in your scene that shouldn't belong there. Whether it be something lingering in the background, uh, or there's an object on a desk that you know is not period and you're shooting a period piece, uh, or you know, whatever. There's something visually in the scene that shouldn't be there. So your options are either A, to reshoot the scene, which can be expensive, tedious, a lot of work, a lot of hassle, getting your cast and crew together just to get one shot, or B, you can turn to a visual effects artist to dig digitally remove it from the scene. So today I'm going to show you just briefly what goes into removing an object from a scene when you absolutely must have it gone. A lot of filmmakers that come my way with objects that need to be removed Honestly, sometimes I tell them, you know what, is it that big of a deal? Because usually it's something that only the editor notices after the ninth pass on the, on the movie. So really, the first question you got to ask is, is it really a deal breaker? Is it really a big deal that this object is in the scene? So if you can answer mm, no, you know, it doesn't, it's not that big of a deal, it just bugs me, maybe you want to consider just leaving it alone. But in some cases, it really does break the scene. Either it's really distracting, it's one of those you know slapping of the forehead moments where you go, oh come on, why didn't I notice that? You know when we're on set, or if it's something that makes the scene wrong, as we'll see in today's example. So we're going to use this example. It was a commercial shot by Syndica Studios. They're a production studio in town that I work with from time to time, and a really good bunch of guys. They shot this, uh, it was either a commercial or a PSA for bike lane safety. So, uh, they came to me with this one shot, and I'll see if you can tell what is wrong with it. So this is the before shot. So our lovely girl Robin rides up on her bike, says something to the camera, and an actor. So I'd be pretty amazed if you could actually see what was wrong with this shot. But, uh, it is something that makes the shot unusable for this project so it really was something that had to be addressed and what is wrong here is that they're shooting this scene on a road with a stop sign in the background and what's wrong with that is in the bike lane safety video you see this dude motoring straight through the stop sign without stopping very bad 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 biker so they came to me with this shot and said nick is it possible to remove this stop sign and a lot of people approach me with nick can you or is it possible it so it is a question of a, it is a tough question to answer is this possible is that possible a lot of factors have to be taken into consideration when they sent me this shot my response was a it's locked off on the tripod so that's a good that's a good start. Any shot that's locked off, you can do uh, visual you can apply visual effects a lot easier. So you don't have to track the motion of the camera. Whatever you add, whatever you're adding to or taking out of the scene, um, whatever effect you're applying, you don't need to worry about the movement of the camera. Normally, if the camera's moving, well then not only are you applying an effect to a specific area, but you have to match it to the camera's movement so that it doesn't look off. So right off the bat, locked off, locked off camera, that's a, that's a good sign. So if you haven't gotten what we're supposed to be doing, we're supposed to be removing the stop sign. That's the culprit right here. So that this biker can drive by completely safe, not breaking the law, uh, and he's obviously not going to, and he's not going to be run over by a car. In doing that, what we're going to be doing is cutting out this portion and replacing what's behind it. You're not so much removing it from a scene, you're more sticking something on top of it that looks like the background. So I'm actually going to create a patch over top of this stop sign that looks like that chunk of house and lawn and sidewalk and road behind it so that it looks like I've removed it entirely. The other, the one thing that was a little bit alarming that adds a little bit of time, Robin passes in front of this stop sign and so does our, our biker guy rides right by it which will become a problem as you'll see in a second so let's open up after effects here and i'll show you the product file the first thing we're going to do is stop right here let's get rid of this stop sign so what i've done is i've created a patch which i've called stop sign patch which is comprised of all these different pieces 
So it's actually many puzzle pieces of the background stitched together. And how this was done was actually taking elements of this background and piecing it together one by one. So you kind of have to just take a look at what's back there and imagine what else is there and use what's available to stitch together your, your compositing patch, which is going to go over top of it. So that once it's applied, you get something that looks like that. The problem that we now face is that when Robin comes riding in and stops on her mark, oh crap. Now we've got the patch over top of her face because you've applied it over top of the whole image. So that includes anything that's going to pass between the camera and the object that you removed. Okay, that means we have to rotoscope her out. So that means I've created this Robin mat, which is just her and I've followed different parts of her body one by one as she comes through. So this Robin mat just looks like this. It's a white solid that follows the shape of her as she goes through. So we've got our roto mat. What do we do with that then? Well, we can stick it on top of the sign patch and then select alpha layer inverted and boom. Now as she passes through, we don't see that patch. So there we go, we fixed that little problem. But now we've got the problem of this biker biking by in the background. So I've got a separate biker patch right here. And so what this is, is actually just a still shot of him because in the original footage, as we look at him going by, he barely moves. And it's so very, very, I mean, his body is moving, but uh, as he's moving on the bike, he's very still. Don't try to overcomplicate things. Keep it nice and simple. We froze that image of him to make the biker patch, which is just this piece here. Uh, applied the uh, Robin mat to him as well, because hey, while well, we've got it made, why don't we use it for him? And so now he passes by without disturbing the stop sign mat as well. Now the last part that we have here is this little part on the on the this stop mark on the road. So what I've done here is just taken a still frame of this sequence and created a road patch here, which is just comprised of different parts of the road and lawn that I can double up over here. So to anyone looking, they won't notice that one bit. It's in the background, it's out of focus. So like I said, keep it simple. If you don't have to make it complicated, don't. So as we've replaced this chunk, the same problem that we were having with the stop sign before, we're having with this patch in the road. Robin passes over top of it, and so does our biker Tom in the background. So we have to do the same thing, roto them out. So as she passes through, we've got this combined mat with both Robin, her body and Tom's body and the bike. Just the chunks that are going to be getting in the way, they're going to be problematic. So that's our combined mat so that we can select our patch for the road here, select alpha inverted and boom. She passes in front of the patch, no problem. He passes in front of the patch with the bike as well. So there you go. That's the basic way that you can remove an object from a scene or get a visual effects artist to do it for you. Now, let's say you have a shot where there is something in the scene, but you don't know how easily it can be removed. You don't know if it's gonna be easier to reshoot or just use a different take or get uh, a visual effects artist to remove the object for you. Really, uh, the only answer I can give you to be able to figure that out is show it to a visual effects artist. Send it to them, send it to them and say, is this possible? Uh, what, uh, what level of difficulty is this? How long is it gonna take? And, uh, you know, they'll answer you truthfully, hopefully. And they'll say, listen, this is an actual, this is an easy shot. I can do this, you know, in an hour, in a day, whatever. Or somebody may say, you know what, this is really difficult. It's going to take five days or it's impossible. If you like and you have a shot like that, send it my way. I'll be able to tell you just how difficult it's going to be. If you're trying to add something or remove something from a scene, I'll answer you, I'll answer you truthfully, uh, you know, at the best of my uh, abilities, uh, what's going to be possible. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed and uh, hope this enlightened you a little bit. There's another Merc Media late night video for you. I've got to finish my coffee and get back to work. See ya.